Hi everyone and welcome to what's going to be a 3D printing video and you're probably wondering why there's a guitar on the screen. Well, it's another one of these first world problems we need to solve and you can see there the new-ish Gem Junior that I did some upgrade work on in a previous video and that's uh, not particularly safe lent up against the PC like that so we're going to have to think of some way of getting that hung on the wall. Now the way I normally do this is with some aluminium extrusion and then some guitar hangers um, but I figure I can uh, do something cheaper for a start and also a little bit more bespoke plus I've got a couple of other guitars either being made or coming and uh, need to hang those as well so let's um, head over to Fusion 360 and get a design and print underway okay here we are in Fusion 360 and as ever we're going to start off with the sketch and all we've done here is made a rectangle which is 40 mil on the short side about 100 mil in fact exactly 100 mil on the long side and then we've got four uh, five mil holes or what will be holes when we extrude this uh, but just circles on there so we need to make an extrusion to start with which will give us essentially a block base and these holes are spaced to the slots on the extrusion so we can put some five mil bolts through and secure those to the extrusion using t-slot nuts okay next up we need to make another sketch and start making the two horns uh, between which we're going to suspend the guitar so if I just move this around a little bit let's go to that and what we're actually going to do is using a series of sketches and offset construction planes so offset plane there you see and if I just cycle through these basically on each of them we're going to make a sketch and then when we've got rid of those planes if I just get rid of those quickly you can see we've got a series if you like of guides that loft operation will use so we'll go from these large ellipses here to the smaller one here now the next one is kind of slightly bowed out to the side so that that'll kind of curve out and then we've got the final one is up a bit from the others so what that'll do is it will create essentially a swooping shape if you like so like a horn shape and I can show you that in the next loft operations there they go and there's two of them there they're pretty symmetrical I could of course made one and then mirrored this um, at the halfway point but it's fairly easy to do it this way and the other thing we can do is we can adjust the how much we move this ellipse this middle ellipse out to the side to account for different widths of guitar nut stroke headstock transitions so there's our two horns fairly easy to do let's just clear these sketches off there we go and we'll do a little bit of filleting because you don't want any sharp edges on the front of those uh, horns there and then we can proceed to put some filleting in so we put some fillet around the base of the horns there just to blend them into the base a little bit better then we're going to need essentially a countersink because we're going to use button head allen key bolts so we'll put a construction plane up here somewhere put a sketch with a couple of holes i think they were 10 mil and then we can extrude those down essentially to cut into the base you see to make the countersinks which also cuts into the side of the horn there okay we're going to put some fillets in around the base make it look a little prettier one thing I was concerned about was the fact that we're going to have to print this from essentially the base upwards, which is fine. Uh, however, the point of weakness in this print will be essentially in the vertical axis. And of course, that's exactly where all the weight of the guitar is going to be hanging on these. So we need to reinforce these horns somehow. Now, how are we going to do that? Well, we can create a sketch on the back uh, with two holes then we'll extrude those as far in as we can look without breaking through the surface then we're going to put essentially a countersink so the bolt heads can sit in those 
and then what we're actually going to do is model two M5 threads all the way down the length of this. So what I'll be able to do is put a 60mm bolt through the back of each of these which will then actually still reinforce the the horns here which will prevent the plastic if you like delaminating with the weight of the guitar on it it's a pretty simple design really apart from the reinforcement bit took a little bit of thinking about but let's head over to the printer now and get this printed off Right, uh, I haven't put the shrink wrap on there, I'm not very happy with it, there's no giving that at all really. So I think in the, what I have done is I've ordered off of Amazon some surgical rubber hose. <laughs> so let's just cut this off. And I think we'll go with some lengths of this, so probably about that much. And this should have a bit more give in it and protect the neck of the guitar a little bit better. Now, I think uh, I know it's quite warm. Yeah, it's going to take a um, try a bit of soapy water and that, see if we can ease that over there. Right, Just a bit of soap and water on there. Just to make it a bit more slippery. Probably too slippery now to. Uh, Oh no, there we go, look. It's going on there. Yeah. That should do. Just need the other one on there now. Yeah, just got a towel to dry that with. Right, let's head over to the uh, to the wall and get this mounted. Well, we've got the nuts in here. Look, just have to case of lining those up. Okay, so that's a success. Uh, you can see there's another Ibanez next to it. <laughs> um, and I can print as many of those as I like now. Uh, so thanks for watching. Catch you on the next video. Mm -hmm.